Here we are, another episode. I did so much grinding last episode for one character. I realize I need to buy a shit ton of these. Do 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 do. Yeah, that should be good. And because I need to do this mission. Turns out Sarah Wee is the weak link. Who knew? Definitely not this guy. Concept behind this mission is pretty simple. All four of the main girls or whatever have to fight through their own gauntlet. That's it. Sarah Wee is the weak link because she doesn't have a bunch of shit. That's uh, effectively what I'm gonna say. It's my story and I guess I'll sort of stick to it. I didn't set up my abilities right. Hmm. That one, and I need projectile defense. Actually, no, wait, she needs an actual damage ability rather than evasive. Um, I think her best one is enhanced barrage. What she needs. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Here we are. That ability. I could get rid of Pierce for counterattack, but don't really need to, I don't think. She's doing much better. I forgot to I forgot to put projectile defense on last time, and she got fucking shrekt so hard. Like you wouldn't believe. One damage. So the the mystery person I leveled was was the uh, girl I don't really like. It uh it only took me like 20 minutes or something like that. Actually, it really didn't take that long. Because she's actually a decent character, I just don't like her. Sad thing is, is I think I could start up the second uh, mission if I turn off combat animations. And I gotta change up her abilities real quick. I remember I switched it to that, took off that, to give her this. Yeah, it looks about right. Yeah, with projectile defense really kind of cheeses this super hard. I forgot to put it on, so she was like getting her ass kicked the entire time. Gave her Succubus's Embrace because all these dudes melee. And it's like super duper important that you retaliate. Good enough. I think that was D. Will's route is like painfully boring, kind of like the character himself. There's a bunch of dudes who just kind of are literal meat shields. Eula's route is a lot of just taking damage, un un taking unfortunate damage, really. You can't really stop it. And Emily's route is just bursting shit down. Unless, of course, you have her bonus outfit from. Himagari, I think it is? I don't remember. It's some other stupid Shelly game that came out like a while ago that's never getting translated. Where the main character is kind of a jerk. Every, like every. All three of these people have outfits that are based off of that. And she's the. Uh, Emily's one is based off of like the succubus that follows the main character throughout this whole story. She like awakens you because you're the demon lord or whatever and you have to go traverse a dungeon or something. Plot's kind of dumb, but who cares. Is 
Seriously, projectile defense is kind of broken. Just a little bit. See, Sarah Wee was the weak link last time. Definitely not this time. Yeah, so it's basically just a gauntlet. With, um... You have to fight a copy, except for Will, because apparently you can't copy him because he's too awesome. Or something, I don't know. There's some sort of excuse, I'm sure. Do 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 do. Like seriously, Will is actually being like a dead weight here right now. Thankfully, there is a heal. There's a healing thing for every single character. Some characters just don't need it. And there's apparently something to discover. Oop. Beat him up. I don't know why her damage seems low. Whatever. Not really my problem. Yeah, if any of these characters die, you lose a mission, to say the least. Because Eula's so far ahead, she's pretty much right at her clone right now. I'll backtrack her so she can get her healing thing. Get a bit more of the map explored. Do 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 do. It's mildly funny because Sarah Weez is also the weakest character too. Weakest character. Actually, no, that's wrong. Laguna's the weakest character to face. He's like completely a thousand and ten percent weak sauce. Like a weak sauce out of ten. Looks like Emilita's gonna finish her route fastest. That's because I made um, Eula backtrack. Card, get! I actually don't know if I have to complete all of these for Asmodeus stuff. I'm just doing it. I'm doing it because it's stuff. It's like totally not fair. Boop. Boop. There's the Guna. Actually, I just realized I think there's maybe one more thing left for her. Yeah, Sarah Wee and Emily to finish theirs at about the same time. Yeah, Laguna is just like this ranged dude. His actual character is like a mage. So, you know, go figure. Unfortunately for him, he does like no damage to Will in particular, so. And here. And here. Don't do anything, go stand there, stand there, stand here, murder yourself. They'll have unique character models and stuff, I just don't, I feel like turning combat animations off. The other time I've done this, she just murdered him really fast. She had prevail going, I guess. Miss. 18, 18. Oh my Jesus. What's going on? Whoop, 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 whoop. See now, I almost lost this mission like right off the bat because I had Emily to walk forward a step because I wasn't expecting that guy to like leave his base. He leaves his base. He's also not that strong, surprisingly. He has like, he's weak against Holy, and I should have switched weapons, but who cares? It's not really, see, like, he's literally just not threatening. He is super threatening though if your name is Emilita, and you almost get killed in one combat round, which is what happened, it was pretty great. Now there's, there's a bonus part here, don't know where it is, don't really care. Oh, I didn't get the statue because I didn't technically enter the flame pit. 
So, doing that one unlocks you another map. Actually, it doesn't. I'm joking. And we're going to play this one be in combat like this. So, here's how this is going to work. Oh, well, even equip her with Disna. What's going on? Oh, that's Matt. Oh. Huh. That's interesting, actually. That actually is useful. I'll equip that, actually. Give us Rage, though. Rage is pretty bad. Pretty weak sauce. Alright, Mylan needs to show up. And I can equip her with Disna instead. So this mission, I haven't really went over it. Uh, this one is, oh god, it's so tedious. This one's like actually really, really tedious. Because they make you repeat basically the same thing twice. Oh, whoops, I forgot to bring in more characters. Oh, whatever. It's really no big deal. It's, like, super tedious for one humongous reason, though. I'll get to that in a second. The first part's actually not that bad. It's the second part that's really bad. I mean, the stupid resurrecting double-action slimes are kind of annoying, but double-action kind of works in your favor since it allows you to kill them. So they stop being a nuisance. I'm actually... You know what? I'm actually not bringing anyone. Fuck that. We're gonna try it with just four characters for now. With... So, wind is pretty useful for the first part. It's also useful for the second part, like, half. Um, so... Yeah, there's two teleporters that have teleportation things to... really dumb spots. It really doesn't matter. The creatures, for the most part, just completely ignore you and go ahead for your main base. Come on. Yep. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. We're getting to the point where creatures are like of level or higher level than us, so this is where it gets kind of boring. Well, not really boring, I guess. This mission's like alright. I just ended up getting... The reason why you see me buy like 50 status items is because there's charm shit going on in the second part. Specifically, the left-hand side of the map is full of charm and en enemies and enemies. You're just gonna sit there. Good enough. And you're gonna shoot Boopy over here, teleport. Oh, there's a dude just standing on the teleporter. That's actually convenient for me. Unless I don't kill it. There we go, dead. Effectively, there's just, they just kind of walk through here. I don't know why they're called skinwalkers. I didn't realize skinwalkers were werewolves. It kind of works out for me, though, that it's this way. He's literally resurrected like three times. More of these Lords of Hell. 
They were super weak against Holy. Not super weak. I think they have like an E out of F minus. Which isn't the worst, I guess. I actually don't really know why I'm bringing Eula over here, to be completely honest. There's actually no point. She's just sitting there so that I don't have a werewolf take my base. Because the uh, teleporting werewolves will literally ignore you and go straight for your teleporter. Every time. Hey look, Prevail kicked in, taking zero damage. Oh right, I know why. I know why I'm having Eula here, because she's just going to kill these things. That's exactly the reason. Oh no, preemptive miss. Shit. That didn't work out. Yeah, they will only fight you if they absolutely have to, so... Cheers to making them have to. Wait, apparently they're mans. They're getting hunted. Get hunted, mans. Just tag that area so it's easier to walk through. So the trick for this next area is, is I'm just going to have Ragsmuna enter there by herself. And she's going to deal with the problem, because I can't be bothered. As it turns out, handing something that's like impervious to dark and uh, physical a holy thing is kind of, kind of cheating. As it turns out. Let's hunt some mans. Can I give her like something to give her movement speed? I wouldn't go so far as a full tears, but full mills is fine. Just so I can hunt more mans. There's a dude there. There we go. Dude no more. I use my dude be gone. And standby. This is a perfect uh, little phase here. Oh no, deployment get captured. I wouldn't say that this mission gets harder the longer you take for the first two parts, because this mission is going to be about as hard as it's ever going to get right off the bat. You're not going to really get swamped. You never kind of do in this game, to be completely, like, completely honest. You never really get swamped in this game. Well, you do. I mean, I've been swamped in the first playthrough before, but... What I'm more implying is that you don't get swamped. You don't get swamped in a like this far into the game usually. They can't really do it most of the time because there's like an upper limit on how many dudes can spawn. All right. Well, since I don't have to worry about werewolves anymore, well, not really. So here's a trick. You have to deal with dudes teleporting in, you stand on top of the teleporter. Or wherever they teleport to, they can't teleport at that point. Now first time, I teleported in like 10 billion people here, and that was totally a cool idea. Sort of, not really. Because then I had to start walking over the back, because it only took one person to deactivate both sides of the teleporter. So for example, Will here is going to walk away. He's no longer necessary, and if any werewolves get through, I don't really care. Hello. 
きましたファイトバリアがあるブッシュテレポートあっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。あっ、そうなんだ。Begs me to just deal with everything because that's sort of what the character does. It's in her job description. To just deal with really, really annoying garbage, which is why she's a good character. Is because anytime you have to fight something that's exceptionally annoying, she's exceptionally good at it, usually. Alright, now this is where we switch out the full mills for a wing bracelet. Teleport. I actually thought that that guy might drop devil beads at one point, so I equipped like the four drops, and he did not drop that. So, there you go. Spoilers for next time. I actually don't really know the drop rates of things, but I do know that devil beads are necessary for a lot of things, and I don't have them. So the trick here is, is I'm just not gonna do anything with Rags Muna. She's just gonna sit here and Hellfire Cage. Still has instant death. In theory, doesn't usually happen that often. Your weapon just has death on it, then it'll death proc and kill everything usually. Shaboosh. Fulls tears, get switched out for a wing bracelet. And we pop over here. Oh shit. Well, that's the thing, I guess. There we go. She's basically not gonna move until most of the werewolves are just dead. So I don't have to worry about it. Dead. As it turns out, everything will move in this room to attack you, so that's why Ragsman is just a good thing to stick here. Shazam. Everything, including those two skullhead things. Hmm. Well, you're going to need to be cured of your unfortunate ailment. And I can't equip you with anything to deal with this problem. But it does give me an idea. So. And no werewolves. You can move forward a square. Don't get paralyzed again, I swear to god. Good. You didn't die. This is why I moved her forward one square. So that she can kill these two things, clear the whole room. I wasn't actually planning to clear the whole room. So now even if the werewolves spawn, she can just kind of deal with them at her leisure. Boosh. But first, this. Like I said, this mission's like fucking a new level of tedious, so. A whole new level. Like you wouldn't believe. Let's just take off Flurry, see if I can give her something useful. Intimidate 3. I wonder how well that'll work out.
Not much, as it turns out. Whatever. So this part here is dedicated to all of the homeboys who want to just sit here and clear shit out for a billion years. Nice that Eula lets me equip Dizna on someone else. Uh, goddamn cover. Yep, those harpies, like every other harpy in the game, has a has the ability to charm you with her magic attacks. So they also have really long range and everything else. It sounds really not cool and annoying. Oh wow, these guys are actually going for me. That's weird. They don't usually do that. How much damage does do? Not enough for me to care. Okay. So we're gonna send Eula right? Because she has less luck. And also she doesn't have a ranged attack of any kind. And we're going to do that right now. I'm just trying to think if I really want to keep Intimidate on. No, I don't. Put Flurry back on. Flurry is really, really good. All of her abilities are really good. That's why I have them on. Move her over like that. Go current can move here because that thing can't walk on air. I was thinking of bringing Hannah in, but I don't really want to risk it right now. Get covered twice because that's how cover works. It's two different mud golem covers. It's just kind of annoying like that. I was like, oh man, three crits, that'll work, right? No. No, it does not. Alright, so co-occurring job. These, uh, these harpies have F- minus to fire resistance. Her job is to just kind of get rid of the problem. Back me deployment geek. See now he's going for what I think he was going for before. He's just trying to he's trying to scare me. Trying to spook me. I thought about bringing Hannah again and I just forgot. I'll be honest, that time I just forgot. So when I did this map, I forgot 1% of the map somewhere. Not really sure where. 14, 14, 14, don't care. But she is useful for one thing. She's really good at killing golems too, so... Just die already, damn it. It's good for experience though, so I'm not gonna complain that much. Alrighty. Move Kokuran into the room. Got to equip the mole bracelet. It actually tells you on the map thing to tell it that there's electricity and uh, earth. Basically telling you to bring burrow and stuff. There we go.
Now this is where my my land got um, massively charmed for like 20 turns. Doesn't look like it'll happen this time, which is nice. Fairy lady, you step here. And uh, you need to take off your wing bracelet and put on a grounding bracelet, which I haven't done in a long time. Grounding is a thing that doesn't appear very often in this game. Oh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. Okay. I mean, it's got she's got one HP. What's where scabbing? Technically speaking, if she charms, then. You kind of set your character, you set your whole group of harpies that is coming to not get completely destroyed by the fire character. Oh, that's beautiful. There we go. Werewolves dealt with. Rags Muna doesn't do anything now. Gold dust. Oh. A prevail kicking in. Maybe that'll do damage. Not really, as it turns out. It's not that effective. I kinda this is probably gonna be another long episode to be completely honest. I don't really want to start a new episode this far into a dungeon, because I have nothing else after this. Oh no wait, yes I do. I have a really fucking long dungeon after this. I forgot about that. It's nice that he does he he isn't quite there yet. He's just like, I'm so excited to meet you. There we go. So we're bringing Will in for just a just a just a wee little bit here. And we're switching weapons for my then back to her toy knife. Oh, there was a dude there. I actually don't know where the last one percent is. There is one percent that is currently not shown. No idea where it is. So we, I guess I could have equipped the other holy sword, whatever, too late, Disney's pretty good. Oh, I guess I could equip uh, Thunderclap open again, because that, that dude's dead. Well, oh well. The Mudbent thing gets lots, a lot less annoying once you kill off the first wave. It's just annoying for the first wave because you don't really have a tool of dealing with that many mudmen, and also they just this is just like the last map with a shit ton of mudmen I played on, where they just sit there and cover each other for all eternity because they can get up to like they could literally attack you and have three covers and just cover for the entire time. <laughs> Sorry, we're almost we're almost done with this. I'm gonna put Disney back on, because we're gonna be having a fight. Somebody who's weak against Holy. There we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm still gonna just make this a long episode though, because <clears throat> The reason why I'm making this a long episode is pretty simple. Is uh Next mission's gonna be even longer. 
because it has a 90 turn limit. I don't really want to know. I don't really want to think about that, to be honest. It's kind of terrifying, really. And the Eula is almost done, Zos, for this, for her part. She usually finishes much faster, mainly because she kills a lot of mud men in response. Mylan doesn't usually do that. Must be another one somewhere. I wonder where. Do 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 do. Um, I guess I'll just take Will on a journey to find that one percent, which is most likely just a square. All right. Well, you you don't need to do anything. You're good. You're solid. Done. Bam. Devastated. Oh god. Thankfully they can't charm you in melee range, but yeah, they can char charm. She there's a chance I just need a charm next turn and that's just not gonna go well for me. Doop a doo doo. Nothing there, eh? Alright. I'd like to equip her with a hermit's monocle, couldn't I? The thing is, there's a treasure chest there. That's actually what I'm more concerned about. Who has the other hermit's monocle? There's, I have two monocles sitting around, so the one's there. All right, well, she can't do anything this turn then. Everyone's went. All right, so Will's gonna go north. I have no idea where to begin with this, to be completely honest. She didn't find anything on the whole way here, so... Unequip. You... Go. Whole room, nothing. Skills. Take off Flurry. Put Ethereal on. It has to be somewhere pretty close, honestly. Oh, you're out of FS. Drink. Oh, there it is. Do 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 do. Teleport bracelet. And turn. No more. There's no more dudes on the map. Take care of the barriers. What do 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 do? Next turn. Oh, there's one more. God damn it. Anyway, that's it. There's nothing. No more. Till next time.